hello family and friends I haven't posted in a while so I figured uh, I'd do a little update video freaking cold out today uh, it's been pretty nice the last few weeks uh, over a month actually uh, this morning we have 3.9 degrees outside so it's a little chilly there's no wind so that's kind of nice but it's still cold um, so I'm gonna go get my fish house today off the lake uh, the bite's been pretty crappy and uh, um, it's that time of the year when things slow down and also I'll be busy the next couple of weeks and I'll take you I'll show you that the road is pretty crappy so I'm afraid with the cold now and then the warm-up coming after it's gonna just beat the heck out of the ice so I want to make sure uh, my house is home since I will be able to go out there as far as the boiler goes so we used we had uh, three cord here pretty much just like that one there's three cords in there we used that we used another three cord I believe of that tamarack so we went through about six cords but that that stuff was just junk it was burnt like super fast so I don't think I can really gauge my usage by that but uh, yeah so I don't think I've been used ash the first month or so I just burned straight tamarack and junk wood I had over there so I can really gauge that so yeah, we have these three, we have one other half, one and a half over there. And then of course all the stuff I think, at least a couple more in here, I would have saved my three, three cords in here, so we, we good. So I'm going to clean this baby out for the week, today is Sunday, like you know, every Sunday I clean it out, I just got to clean the ash out in the bottom, and then I'll I'll head out to the lake. I do have to get some more of that tamarack in the trailer today. So I have it for the next couple of weeks. And then watch some football. Playoff time. So that's the plan, man. Well, we are on the way. I had to stop in town, pick up a few things for later, but I didn't want to didn't want to come back to town later after I picked up the house probably be all pooped out and tired so so we going um, talk to a few guys in town ask me what I'm doing what's going on whatever and through conversation sounds like there was a, a truck that went through the ice today uh, at one of the resorts up here so the ice is definitely uh, being goofy already with the temperatures dropping so uh, I think we made the right decision going and getting the house up. So uh, we'll see we'll see how the road is once we get out there. I know yesterday when I went out, it was uh, heaving in places and there was some pretty big cracks that haven't opened yet, but um, it's just a matter of time before something's gonna happen. So um, yeah, I'll show you guys once we get out there. like people are pulling their houses off I met at least three or four of these guys coming off the lake over here so this is the nice part of the road um, yeah I would we were out here fishing yesterday actually and uh, my wife was getting kind of nervous uh, because of the cracks so yeah, I told her I was gonna pull the house in sometime this week but uh, after seeing how slow fishing was and how the road looks, I decided to do it today. So, yeah, as uh, you can tell over here, there's a couple of pretty decent heaps. Oh, that's rough. Um, yeah, well, we'll get further out there and we'll, we'll get to see the cracks and stuff. Yeah, so this is the part the crack we're dealing with. And it goes 
pretty much along the whole road. So, um, yeah, not fun. So we'll see. We're planning just uh, bringing the house home. I'll feel more safe that way. That's one hellacious crack, man, right along the road. And when the ice moves, when it gets cold and gets hot and whatnot, the ice just moves and... Whoop. Oh yeah, there's water splashing when I go over it. I should go on this side, I suppose. <coughs> so yeah, so this crack goes pretty much all the way down the road, pretty much all the way to our fish house. So yeah, when the ice gets when the temperatures get cold and warm up and whatnot, the ice ice shifts. So it's just a matter of time before this thing is gonna go really bad. Um, so yeah, I don't want to take that chance. Yeah, I can I can feel them all the way to the fish house. This is how we're gonna see this big ass crack going all the way down there. I said ass crack. That's just naughty. Hey. Right. Keep going. Things are actually getting kind of worse over here since yesterday. The ice even turned color. And the crack is like really getting big in these areas. Holy moly. Oh. out here once this cold uh, the cold snap passes I think that's when the ice is gonna really act goofy cold kind of helps and hopefully it heals up some of it <laughs> that was a that was a heave we went over um, yeah so I don't know dude um, I usually I drive slow I'm only going like uh, 15 miles an hour. I'm one of the the guys that does that. Otherwise, if you have people driving here 30, 40 miles an hour. Shit, now we have crack there and crack here. Crack on both sides. Oh man. Uh, yeah, not fun. And here the ice cracking. There's water in it too. Oh yeah. I'm getting a more nervous now. Hopefully everything goes okay. Find out. Yeah, I can see why the guy moved the road. This cracking and stuff, it's pretty pretty creepy man. I'm staying away from that crack but Still creaks and cracks. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's creepy as shit. Oh, there's a crack next to us. There's two cracks there. Yeah, not fun. I'm gonna try to cross over to that uh, slash new road. I'm not sure where to do it so I don't fall in. Let's see. This place is as good as any, I guess. Give her hell. Oh. 
Shit. Whew. Okay. Made it across. Good deal. Feel better. Whew. Okay. Keep going. Well, there is the house. And yeah, the crack is kind of getting worse, I guess, the, the further out we go. So I'm going to have to cross the crack to get to the house. So, I don't know man, let's see, actually right in front of the house is not too bad, so I can cross it, oh. yeah, I got it back in there, so, oops, uh. yeah, there's definitely water in there, so, alright, I'll back in there and see what goes, well, we made it here, but uh, throw on some warm clothes and uh, throw the tires on and whatnot uh, I'll see if the GoPro is uh, actually charged enough to run so you guys can see how I put things together and whatnot and I want to get this done pretty quick I'm not sure how bad this uh, crack is uh, deteriorating so there we go okay so the nice thing yesterday before we left I uh, actually ended up lifting up the fish house so it's not frozen down but it's gonna help us a lot this morning getting things uh, situated so yeah I gotta lift it up and I'm gonna probably have to chisel some some stuff out on this side too so I can put the, the tires on that's not too bad right there because yeah so this lifts up and then the axle from the tires just goes right in there and clips in with the with the pin. So that shouldn't be too bad, hopefully. Looks okay. I just have to lift it high enough so we can do that. When we have these big chunks of ice, you're going to have to lift her quite high up. So that might be a little bit of a challenge, but we'll make it work. First, I got to go inside and screw down the screw down the holes that's the first project is putting the covers on and put a screw in just to make sure that the wood doesn't move and we don't lose stuff on the way home so I'll do that quick and then yeah then we can put the tires on so here we go I brought extra screws. Just a couple in each one is all we need just so it doesn't move. Yeah. We do plan on coming back out fishing in a couple of weeks. Um, I'm not sure if we're gonna come to this same, this same area of the lake, or if we're gonna go somewhere else out. At this point, I'm not quite sure. Gotta take this down. Take this down so I can see through the fish house while I'm driving. So when I turn, I know if somebody's behind me or not. This also was a deer stand during deer season. 
and then the rest of the time it sits um, it sits at house so I want to make sure no mice and stuff get in here it's the main reason for the covers and of course we don't want to lose stuff on the way home so So far so good so I'll take take a few things out I'm gonna use probably the painting for chipping for sure I need to score out of here I should probably take the garbage out so I'll take everything out because once I put the tire on I can't come in here no more so I'll make sure I bring everything out that I gotta bring out and then we start cranking. Well, locked and loaded. Tires are on. This one is kind of broken. I'm gonna crank it up. That tire is a little bit low, but we'll make it home. I did take my shit back off. Of the hot clothes, two reasons. One, I'm hot after all this work, and number two, if we do go in, I don't want to have a whole bunch of extra clothes on me. So, so yeah, here we go on the way home. Man, that crack is getting worse by the hour, really. See the water just bouncing when I drive. And problem number two is when I cross the crack to come on this side, I bent the rim and uh, pretty much lost all the air in one tire. So uh, I'm not gonna stop now. I'll I'll drag if I have to. I'll drag the house all the way to shore. Uh, but holy shit, I um, think it was a super wise decision to do this. I just want to make sure we actually end up at least off the lake enough so I can fix the tire. <sighs> this turned into an adventure. But, okay, we'll see what happens. Now, I'm not sure if you can hear. But we are pretty much on the rim, on, on the one tire. Um, this crack is getting worse by the minute, actually, to be honest. Like, I can see water running right through the crack, so. I don't care if I ruin that rim. I just want to have my fish house off the lake at this point. And we'll figure out what we're gonna do about the tire tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna bring it up to the landing and park it there for the day take the tire off and bring it home and once i get that fixed then it's gonna be just to come back throw it on and bring the house home so as long as we can make it that far holy cow looks like it's even heaving up up here now yeah this is getting pretty pretty crazy shit. 
I did call a couple of my friends that I know have houses out here, let them know that uh, things are getting kind of bad here. So they're gonna come out, check their houses out. I'm pretty sure they're gonna do the same thing. Just pull it off until things get stabilized. The guy is trying to make the road wider, so move away from the crack, but um, problem is, like my problem, you have to cross the crack to get to your house and that's when I busted my rim just crossing the crack so I'm sure everybody else is going to have the same problem since most people are on the other side of the crack so uh, we don't have too much to go so once I once I get to the to the shore to the landing I'll see what we can do there well shit here's our tire or what used to be a tire but the house is off the lake so <laughs> oh my god okay well this is an X rim so we're gonna need the rim and the tire so okay well I'll lift it up take this off and away we go at least uh, the house is off the lake kind of still on the lake but off the lake if you know what I mean Wow well this will have to do for today hopefully I can find the rim and tire to fit that uh, she's pretty banged up but again we're up the lake, so, okay. On the way home. So, as I'm driving home here, I remember to have at my cabin, I do have a trailer that has some bad wheel bearings that I, I'm just not able to find one for it. It's an old boat trailer that I made into a flatbed trailer to haul uh, ATVs and lawnmowers and stuff but one of the bearings went out and I was just not able to find the right bearings for it but that one has uh, the rims and the tires I might be able to use it's a five five bolt pattern just like uh, just like this this thing so I think I'm gonna run out there I'm gonna go home take the rim off this axle and take the axle with me and see if that that's gonna fit on it on it um, yeah, if I can accomplish that and that, that fits and I get, I get that lucky um, and I might be able to get the house home today yet otherwise I'll, I'll make a couple of phone calls I have my brother-in-law he has all kinds of junk in his yard we might be able to find something that fits so yeah that's the plan I'll go home take the rim off and we'll go from there well here we are at the row at the cabin it's actually a pretty super nice day with the sun shining and whatnot and I know <laughs> they say by this evening uh, we are supposed to get some snow so we'll see how that goes but we keep this road open on our own with our plow trucks uh, because our land is recreational land the county doesn't really come and plow it because it's not a homestead or whatever so even though we pay taxes on it still not getting plowed by the county which is bullshit if you ask me but anyway um, I'll go see I'm thinking I know it's a five bolt pattern for that tire but I just don't know if it's gonna be the exactly right pattern for what I have I, I super hope so uh, but yeah we're just about there I know let's see here we do have some nice tracks going over here some deer deer tracks and I think I had one so this is my sister-in-law's land she's got about 14 acres or something like that and then this is her road going in and then this is ours we have some tracks going into ours too Ours is, uh, we have 16, so she has 14, we got 16, and then my brother-in-law has 10, so it's a 40-acre it's a chunk that was split in three. Uh, hmm. There's, there's 
tracks going all over around here. Now I'm gonna try to get into the yard here. I came and plowed uh, a week ago or so. All kinds of tracks going all over the place, but that's mostly rabbits. I'll go check this tire out and see how it goes. Well, this is a no-go. Well, first of all, the bolts don't line up and also there's not enough opening for this stuff over here to get into that, so. Yeah, it's a no-go. Plan B, see what the bro in law has for me. Well, that turned out to be a bust. Uh, we did find the rim that would have been that would would fit the bolt pattern but it was way too wide so it would not fit to get back on an axle with enough clearance to actually to actually put the pins in and run the, the house home so back to square one I guess tomorrow I'm just gonna have to go to town and try to order a rim and a tire from from Senex or our, our local tire shop so that's where we at with that so I'm gonna go home now and see if I can get my old truck started and, and do some things and uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about um, yeah so enough adventures for today now let's do some other things that are more Relax and hopefully work out okay. I don't need no more hardship for the day. All right, on the way home. Okay, so on the project I'm working on is getting this old truck going so I can get a rebuilt transmission into it before summer. So I had to move my daughter's car out of here, and now I'm here with this truck trying to jump the old truck the battery is kind of dead on it so Whew. I'll try to hook up the, the charger and it says uh, fuck off so I guess you would have to do it the hard way and try to jump it and see what it does so she's an old little truck my uh, wife's uncle and cousin kind of redid this one I'm not sure you can tell, it's like custom paint on it. It's a custom box on it and stuff. So since it didn't work for the last year or so, uh, it's been just collecting junk, which is kind of sad. So the plan is to get it going. So when my buddy has uh, uh, some openings in his shop, he's gonna get it in there and rebuild the tranny on it. So. So I'm gonna try to get it going, hopefully, and dig it out. So when he's ready, I can just jump in and take it off. So that's the plan. Top that off for tonight. 
I top this off for the next couple of weeks. Uh, so yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna have to go and get a get a rim and a tire. Hopefully, if they have both on hand at the store, then uh, yeah. So tonight I just have to go go in the house. Uh, I gotta make pork chops and homemade French fries. I guess that's the as for tonight, uh, Baby Blue is over here, ready to go to the shop. I tried to back it into the shed and with the two-wheel drive, it just did, did not work. So I'll just park it there for now. When it's ready to go, I'll make sure she gets out and to the shop. So yeah, I'll, I'll just park this baby and then Call it good, make some supper, drink some beers maybe, watch some football and call it a Sunday. Eventful and adventurous, but it was a Sunday, so okay, yeah, do 